<laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so sorry. You just fell over then. <laughs> I thought to myself, I know what I'll do. I wanted to go live and I thought, right, my phone really needs charging. I was looking at it, doing a few things. It was on 4%, would you believe? And so I thought, right, OK, I'll charge it. But of course, it's not standing up straight now because the charging thing is going up through there. So that looked a bit rude, didn't it? Sorry about that. So um, you're sort of balancing at the moment. You may topple over a few times. That's a bit like life, isn't it, really? <laughs> but um, hopefully we will be okay. Anyway, happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. What have you been up to so far? What have I done this morning? We've had a sort of like a lazy day in which we didn't start off too early. Alan actually had a lie-in, which he never does. He's got a day off work today. And he actually had a lie-in, which was lovely. Um, we popped to... I had to go to the post office to post, um, post a mascara off to a lovely lady. I um, went to another friend to hand deliver a mascara. We went to Farmer Brown's to get some eggs, which usually means... I'm going to have a banana split and Alan's going to have a cornet. So we did that. What else did we do? And I got a free um, ornate table that we saw on the way, on the way going to Farmer Brown's. There was this little ornate table and I've been back watching furniture, um, furniture painting again. Now, the problem is I haven't done any furniture painting for ages because of the sanding we're sort of like trying to get tidy in the house and um, we don't want sand all over the place but I could of course do it outside but I saw this little table and I thought it might not need too much sanding maybe just by hand you know rather than getting the sander out so we thought if it's still there no sorry I thought if it's still there when we're on the way home, we're going to pick it up. And we did. But there's a little story to that. And I'm going to put it on my reel. So look out for that later on. OK, so anyway, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. And it was something I was listening to. I like to listen to what they call personal vote, personal motivation every day in some form or another either by reading or it's usually on YouTube and I was listening to something a few days ago and then lo and behold it came up again today it was the same it was the same person talking about it but it was in a different um what do you call it a different compilation and I just thought I'm going to share it with you because it absolutely made me think it really did. So I'm going to share it with you. And at the same time, I'm going to make some bullet points on my pad here. What's, where's a pen? I'm not going to have a pen, am I? Oh, I have actually. I think I've got one in my handbag. So I would love if you can, if you've got a pen and paper, I would love you to do this as well. Okay. I don't care how old you are, you might be my age, you might be in your early 20s, you might be a teenager, doesn't matter. That's what's so exciting about this, right? Okay, let's just try and turn over this page without knocking my phone flying. So, obviously what you can do is you can pause me at any time and do what you need to do, right? Or you can just go away and do it all afterwards. So the first thing... I want you to do is to write 50 things that you would really love in your life okay now that can be anything it could be small things like um it could be to get a particular room tidied in your house which is what like sort of my everyday sort of thoughts um, it could be that you want a new telly for somewhere. It could mean that you want a new car. It could mean you want to have a city break somewhere with your partner. It could mean that you want to tour Australia. It could mean that you want a new house. It could be absolutely anything, but it doesn't need to be. In fact, it shouldn't be things that you feel you can easily achieve. Right. So you write down 50 things. 
you want in life okay so remember that's not things that you know you can get easily it's not things like i want my nails done next month um maybe you do okay put that down but you want some things on there that are going to really push and stretch you as well okay so after you've done that beside each of your 50 things you're going to write a number and the number is going to be one three five or ten the number you put beside it is going to denote how many years it's going to take you to get that so say for example we've got another bathroom upstairs that we would really love to get done it's going to be one year or three years not sure which so you're going to put the number of the years beside it that you think you're going to do that in. Oh, no. Do you know what I've just done? I was telling this to Alan yesterday, but then I realised I got <laughs> got way laid at the end of it. I never actually found out, <laughs> found out the end result of this. Oh, my word. Another senior moment for me. I'm getting really good at these now, aren't I? So, OK, so I'll have to continue this one another time. It'll have to be with my tomorrow live as well. So write a number. That's so funny. One, three, five or ten. And that's how many years... It's going to take you to achieve, achieve those achievements. There's a bit of a double word there, but still, you know what I mean, okay? So that's that. Now, to say, I can't remember what, what they said after that. So I will go back and check, I promise, all right? So that's what you do. And obviously, it's going to be a way of these things are then triggered in your mind. Now, what I, something that I don't talk about very often, unless I'm talking to people uh, privately on, um, you know, on their on their messenger i know i i i mess no not i message a lot yeah i do message a lot but i also look put lots and lots of posts on about doing what i do and i honestly honestly and truthfully hand on heart say that if you need if you want to earn extra money in your life, I don't care how old you are. I don't care what you look like. I don't care if you're male or female. If you work at this company, you will achieve those things, right? Now, it doesn't matter whether or not you would like to earn an extra 50, pe 50 pence, <laughs> Oh dear, this isn't a good one, is it? An extra £50 a month. What would an extra £50 a month do for you? You know, it may, you know, you could buy your child some clothes with that, some shoes with that. You could treat yourself to have your nails done or whatever. Um, if you're just having a, you know, a blow dry, straighten, whatever. It, well, where I where I live, it would do me a colour as well. But we're very diff It's very different up here to down south. So I just want you to think about that. What difference would it make to your life if you were earning a hundred plus pound a month? Yeah, that's a big difference, isn't it? We all need that extra. But I want to tell you exactly what I do that can help you get that. Now, I'm not going to say to you it's easy to do that because it isn't. You have to work at your business. You have to not worry about what other people think because this is my business. This is my way of earning extra money for us. It's my way of earning free makeup and skincare for me. It's my way of enjoying life and chatting to my friends online. And 
if people think, oh, she's all about unique, I'm sorry, but you're not my people at the moment. I do share other things as well, but I do share a lot about unique because I'm just so passionate about the company and the products as well and everything that I get from the company, which is a lot of... Um, a lot of positivity in my life. It really is. So what do I do? First of all, I wish all my friends in their, um, in their inbox a happy birthday. Why do I do it in their inbox? Because then Mr. Facebook thinks they're proper friends. They're talking to each other. We're going to show that person that's had their birthday Lorna's posts for a few days. That person might be desperate for a new mascara that is going to help their lashes grow. That is my way to getting to other people. It's called networking, right? Um, that's something that I do. The other thing that I do is I, po I post a lot. I know I post a lot about Unique, but I also try and post about other things as well. But sometimes I haven't done much else. You know, with my health, I don't go out like every day. But when I do go out, I like to share things with you. And um, so that's all good. But I like to share what I love. And what I love at the moment is the collagen and the quadra. So I try not to baffle you with too many other things. So if you were thinking about coming into the business, I would say to you, you know, what is it you, what do you love? Because you will get a beauty box for £69 and it will have our top 11 products in there. And then you, when you get to try them, of course, you will then find out what you love and I will tell you to concentrate on those things. Now, if you're brave enough to do a live, that's fantastic. If you're brave enough to do a selfie, that's awesome. But you don't have to. I have so many photographs. Should I say we have so many photographs of other unique ambassadors and um, our lovely customers that have you know bought things and shared them with us and have allowed us very graciously graciously to show you know their results off we have so many of those but you need to post them you can't just sit and think that somebody is going to come to you and say I'd like, you know, the new Lash System Quadra or can you tell me how much so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so is. That won't happen. You have to put yourself out there. And I know that's hard, but that's work. And this is work. If you want a business that is going to work for you, you have to put yourself out there. You have to be posting. It's not just going to happen to you automatically. When you go and do, when you go and learn another job, you know, you have to learn that job for a while. You can't go straight in and expect to earn great money. You know, you have to build yourself up there. And this is the same. We're always told that the work we do, say, for example, the work I've done during August, three months down the later, <laughs> bang, three months later, I will earn the money that I have really done the work for this month because people remember it people see it but of course people rarely look at something once and think wow I'd like to buy that I mean how often do we see the same thing online over and over and over and over and then after a while you think mm, that actually looks quite good and that's the same with unique. You can't post once and think, oh, everyone's going to flock and buy that. No, they want to see results, especially from you if you are brave enough to do, um, to do a selfie. But as I say, if you're not, it doesn't matter. So I just wanted to sort of say to you, uh, basically, that if you do your 50 things you want in life... <laughs> No one else is barking. <laughs>
thing. Kiko, only you. Come on, come here. It doesn't matter if you have noisy dogs. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you have children. You know, let's be honest when, you know, how many times when you're on the phone does your child play up? I'm like that with this one. Can you see him? Lift your head up, Keeks. <coughs> no, you'd rather, you'd rather bark. It's, it's real life. People want to see that they can do <coughs> what I do in real life. <coughs> that they don't have to be perfect to put on makeup. Uh, Kiko, no. They don't have to be perfect to putting on makeup. How many times have you seen me put on mascara and I've smudged it? How many times? Loads of times. Uh, you know, look at how many times I've said the wrong thing today. Because I'm real. I'm a real person. And, you know, anybody can do this. You don't have to be a robot that gets everything right all the time. I just want to tell you that. Now, the children are going back to school next month. Oh, you've been my friend now. He's rubbing himself all over me now. That's nice. I'm going to smell lovely of dog, aren't I, Kiko? The kids and all grandchildren are going back to school next week. And all I want you to do... Oh, I think you might be falling over again. I can feel, I can feel slight tilt going on the phone. I just want you to think about if you feel... Kiko, come on. I have to keep like nice and friendly with him, otherwise he gets more and more angry. <laughs> if you feel like the kids have gone back to school, I really need something for me and I really need a way of earning some money towards Christmas, please just reach out and talk to me. I will not be offended. You would not believe how many hundreds of people... I have sent messages to about the opportunity. Very few people say yes, but those that do have been looking for a way of either earning extra money, either being part of a community, you know, just having some, um, a bit of recognition in their life. Do you know what I mean? Maybe they just love the makeup and they want the discount for their own makeup. Whatever the reason is, just give me a, a you know, just send me a message and we can chat about it. If you have an idea of how much you would like to earn a month, I will tell you what I think you need to be doing for that. How many hours you need to be putting in a day. Yeah, I'm talking hours. I'm not beating around the bush here and just saying post once a day and you're going to earn like £100 a month. No, it won't work like that. You have to do a few other things too. But, you know, as I say, if, you, if you're like at a bit of a low point in September and you're thinking, God, yeah, I need something. I need something in my life, which was why I why I started with Unique in the very first place and why I went back to it as well when I moved back to the UK and I just felt I need something in my life, something that's going to stretch me a bit, but is gonna, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to have some beautiful makeup reduced, if not free. And um, yeah, that's the way it goes. So as I said, I will try and find out the end of the video that I obviously was so engrossed in and then I got to a certain point and then maybe a, maybe a dog barked or something like that. I think I'm going to have to get them in, which means giving them a biscuit. Would you like a biscuit in a minute? He doesn't like it if Casper's outside, so I have to give them all a biscuit, get them indoors and they'll all have a sleep and I'll have to have a little tidy up in here. Anyway, thank you for listening to me, ladies. I really appreciate you. Remember, as I said, this goes for men as well. And I don't care what age you are, what you look like. Um, even if you, you're not interested in building a team, but you might... Hi, Paige. You might not be interested in building a team, but you might just want to be an affiliate. So, um, yeah. Great things happening. I'm just off, my darling. So get yourself a cup of tea and you can listen when, when it's convenient to you. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Loads of love.